name is Tony Davis, the proud principal of Raytown South Middle School. And I would like to let everyone know that our honoree for a ray of hope at Ray South Middle School is Mariah Turner, one of our eighth grade students who is absolutely amazing, involved in and out of school. Uh, things that I very much appreciate about Mariah. She is a ray of hope because she is proud of her school. She takes pride in herself and her work. Um, she's a student who loves English and history. She has a passion for writing. She is our student council president this year. She's also a part of our Scholar Bowl team and our track and field team. So Mariah Turner is definitely someone we'd like to say is a ray of hope. Hi everyone, my name is Mariah Turner. I go to Raytown South Middle School. I'm 13 years old and I'm in the eighth grade. So about a year ago, I had a vision with my mother that I wanted to write a book and I was lucky enough to find someone uh, to illustrate my book who also came from the same background as me, who also had a brother with autism. And so we basically put two and two together and we created the Living in Variety book. It took a lot of hours, a lot of hard work to put my skill of writing and her skill of drawing and artwork together because we don't live in the same district. So we had to schedule things. We had to work stuff with my schedule and work stuff with her schedule so that way we would be able to accomplish things in a more organized way. This book, Living in Variety, is about the differences that we live around in our community and how it's okay to be different. In fact, different is actually not good, but great. And this book means a lot to me because it's about my brother and her brother put together. And so it just holds a special place in my heart because it's about someone that I'm specially connected to. I just want everyone to know that it's okay to be different. You shouldn't hide your differences just because of the people around you. This is coming from someone who struggled of being okay with herself because I always felt that because I wasn't like everyone that I thought I was always the single, I was always singled out. And I had to be okay with knowing like, hey, maybe I'm not the average black girl or whatever that means, but at least I am a black girl and I have to embrace who I truly am and know that I'm the way that God made me to be and I have to embrace that. My name is Maureen Thomas, and I'm the speech and debate teacher here at Raytown South. So I have that class, but I am also their sponsor and coach and take them to tournaments. I think that Detroit Beyond Wallace is a ray of hope because they put effort and energy into giving the world a message that the entire community needed and that they see and they are celebrating. This past weekend, our entire state celebrated Trey and their message as they won the state competition for informative speaking. And this is so exciting for a number of reasons. First and foremost in speech and debate, students have the opportunity to really tell the world what they think. And Trey chose to talk about black hair. And there's some ignorance about black hair. There's some history about black hair in our racist past. And Trey handles it's all of it. Talked about appropriation, talked about how he, they've been treated with their hair and they teach people, but they also get a laugh out of them. They inspire people. And not only other students, but coaches from around the area have been talking about, who is this kid? What is this? This is awesome. And so Trey began to think about this moment last spring. We always, start to at least talk about what's gonna happen the year after. And as a junior, Trey came up with the idea to talk about black hair, wrote the entire speech, beginning, middle and end, and wowed us in May of 2022. But then they kept tweaking it, kept improving it, taking our feedback and making some really impressive visual aids to help teach their audience. Trey has caught the attention of not only our school and our student body and this little speech and debate team, but Trey's caught the attention of local competitors and local coaches, and they have people rooting them on um, across the state now, and we'll get to root them on as we go to nationals in June. I'm Detroit Beyond Wallace, always the Misha Informed the Speaking Champion this year. It feels great. It's not surprising at all. I've been working towards it all year and my hard work has definitely reflected throughout my victories, but 
even with it, it's still very surprising to see that I made it this far. Um, basically, I started it last year. I was really mad because going into the bait, it's like very, it's a very prestigious activity. And going into it, I had a lot of like people telling me like, oh my God, you're so cute, but your hair would be so much nicer and tidy. And I was like, this is making me mad and I'm gonna make everybody I can hear about it. I basically start off talking about how I did magic when I was younger and eventually one of my friends told me that I should be a clown instead of a magician because I had a big nose and an afro. I eventually cut my hair and quit magic altogether and throughout my speech I talk about how black hair has been mimicked while also demonized throughout all of America. And eventually I tie back into it and talk about how over the years I realized that my hair is mine and every part of me is mine and it belongs to me to the opinions or the hatred of anybody else. Um, I go to nationals in June and we'll see how it goes. I'm sure I'll do amazing and I can't wait to do amazing, but we just have to see. <laughs>